Hello, my name is Christopher and today I'm going to show you how to install Home Assistant on COS OS. So this series is about creating a smartphone from scratch. So I'm going to go over installing things, getting things running, everything like that, and getting the home automations. And um, so if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So I'm going to start with a install of Casa OS and I'm going to go to the app store right here and then you're going to see a home assistant and you can see the category home automation, developers home assistant, the required me memory is 256 megabytes but uh, I would recommend 4 gigabytes of RAM. And then, um, so I'm going to install right here. You can continue in background if you want to, and it'll install in the background. This is installing a Docker container in the background with uh, Docker Compose. So it's having to download the Docker uh, container from Docker Hub or wherever it's getting the uh, container from in the repositories. The registries so now it's installed and you can see that it has a nice icon right there so I'm going to see if there's anything in tips nope so you can go to settings and you can see it's coming from Linux server so it's coming from docker hub and um, the title said home assistant it's got an icon URL um, the web UI is uh, on 8123 like normal it's running on the host network and then it's uh, it has a volume for the home assistant configuration and then config in the container side it's going to set some environment variables and then this is to where you got devices and container commands and then privileged or non-privileged it's non-privileged so CPU shares can change restart unless stop so this makes it to where if you stop it for any reason it will not restart if it fails it will try to restart container capabilities and container host name so you're going to go ahead and go out of that and then you can check the, uh, for updates on the container um, you can uninstall it you can restart it and you can power it off or on so now the home assistant should be up and running so I'm going to go into it so it took a little bit longer than normal on getting it up and running um, uh, you just had to refresh this page until you see the name username password and firm password and we can set it up now so I'm gonna put a name into it I'm gonna put a password Okay, now I'm going to create account right here and then now it's going to ask you for your location, your country, so I'm going to just do United States and then you can name the home system installation if you want to. So now I'm going to say next and then basic analytics, you can turn these on if you want to and then you can look at how, how they process your data. I'm going to say next. And then now I'm going to say finish and we're inside the installation now and you can see that it is working. The Sonos didn't work because it got a network error, but um, that's all fixable. So you, you have your home system cloud, your devices, and then automations. You, your devices will show up if you have like a Vahi running and uh, that makes it to where it, sh it shows the MDNS. So, the areas, voice assistance, system, you can do backups, and then analytics, you can turn those on, network, and then you can see the ha hardware, the CPU and RAM usage. There you go. And 
you can go up here to the top right and restart Home Assistant. You can go to the developer tools and you can um, reload the YAML configuration right here. And then you can check configuration, you can restart again, and then you can go uh, see states. You can see the, uh, you can see uh, how you call a service. You can call a service like manually here. So you can call that service automation reloads. So it's reloading the automations. And then um, you can see the template editor. And then the events. And then statistics. And then you can see a logbook right here of things that happen. See a map electricity grid and then you can have media down here so you can go in here and you can manage media and, and add media if you want to so that's how you get home assistant on cos os so i just showed you how to install home assistant on cos os this makes it to where you can run a great home automation system Run, uh, and uh, be able to control lights in your home, uh, your your video doorbells, everything like that, your uh, cameras, they, uh, and, and bring it all together with, with automations and scripts and everything like that. So if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you need any support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. And you can also uh, suggest videos in, in the comments down below or on our Discord channel. So stay tuned for more.